Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this one, I wanted to explain a little bit about Google Sheets and how you can integrate that in Make. Uh, and we'll just jump right in and uh, let's create a new scenario. So the, the reason why I chose Google Sheets is because it's free. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, Airtable, now there is Airtable integration and Airtable is better in uh, in some ways, but that does not um, that does not even get close to Google Sheets being free. So I will always choose a free option if it's available. So <clears throat> Google Sheets here, uh, the, we have a lot of operations here. Now in terms of uh, Oper watch operations which you see this ACID next to it uh, this triggers whenever a new row is added so this is in terms of watch so this is watch change this is instant triggers when a cell is updated watches only changes made in Google sheet app uh, sheets add-on required so there's a lot of Google Sheets. There's rename, you could add new row, you can delete sheets, you can do a lot of things. Let's start with the basics. Let's start with adding rows inside of Google Sheet, right? So let's say add rows. Now I already have a connection. You can add your own connection here and you only need to sign in with Google. It's pretty simple. Uh, so first let me go ahead in Google, create a new Google Sheet. In this one, let's create like first name, last name, age, uh, country, for example. Just so we get uh, a bit of everything. Let's just make this, give it a color. Okay, then let's just start with John Smith, 38, US. And let's make a little bit of, let's just add some information here, just so we have something here to, to, to add. Okay, let's add one more. Okay, so we have a basic sheet that's named employees. Okay, it's already there, everything is set up. Now, let me go to integration. Now we added the first one, which is add row. Uh, as you can see, we can add intervals to, 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 be, uh, to be triggered in intervals every day, uh, days of the month, anything we want to as a trigger, right? It's not instant though. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, search for the sheet we... Uh, so here, search by path, drive, then... Uh, Let's search. There we go. We found it called employees. So let's name sheet name. Yes, it contains headers. So the headers are these ones that I added. I say yes, it does. So here it it, it brought the the fields there. So first name, last name, age, and country. Now, uh, by now I can hard code this uh, the the names that I want to be added or I can uh, have them as variables. So let's set multiple variables. Let's bring that first. All right, so this first name. Let's... Uh, Okay, last name. Okay, 
let's for example just set these two and then when I want to add these I want to take them from here all right so okay so now that is uh, name this Google Sheets don't forget to name your sheets let's now run it once and see what happens all right so this ran and here we can say output okay row six so we go here and we see row six is updated uh, and it adds it at the end right this is uh this is great so that that, that works greatly right now <clears throat> let's say uh now we added a row we can delete a row if you want as well uh, but let's say i want to search for a row this could be interesting uh, let's say let me add a google sheet search search row so let it let us um unlink this and connect this to this Okay, from employees, sheet name. Okay, so here is the filter. So what do I want to find? So for example, I want to change. I want to have everything, uh, all the people who are age. Let's go to number. Less than. Let's say sixty. Okay let's uh, then hit ok and then let's uh, so we um, we set filter age under 60 okay so let's uh, let's run this uh, this is the search so we don't need this at the beginning let's go ahead and run this so this will give us everyone under 60 so it got us John Alex and Lily so Jaden will Jaden did not go through because the age is above um, so as you can see these came in bundles okay so these didn't come in an array and it came with every information so it came John Smith the, the country the row name all the details that you would like to have so that's great uh, so that's search now we can do whatever we want from that moving forward um, so we added a row we also let's let's uh, test some of the watch um, elements first let me break the connection here put it there Google sheet I think it's, it's still connected there you go okay no okay so triggers when a new row is added let's let's have that so also let's uh, let's select the sheet so row from a to z yes limit let's limit it to one let's choose all okay so let's save I'm gonna hit restart so I maybe sometimes it bugs out let's see so as you see uh, it was it had an issue okay so let me so it's watching for new rows let me start it 
and you see there's no uh, new rows added. Row two, John Smith. That was the. So watch new rows. Okay, limit. I think we should try the. Um, The other watch one, which is keeps this keeps bugging. So, no, not this one. I'm sorry, uh, the other one. So, the one which is watch watch changes. Let's So let's create a webhook. Let me save and restart. Okay. So the watch new rows, if I'm there, let's let's try adding a new row and see if that takes it in. Uh, let's see, Brandon. Okay, so we added a new row. Let's now run this. Run it again, maybe it takes a moment. So it's bringing Jaden for some reason, it's bringing another one, maybe. Okay, let me see. So maybe because I limited this, let me increase the limit. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Brandon got in. So uh, let, uh, let's add another one. Test. Just so, and run it again. So the operation is successful. But it's not getting the actual new one. Is it saved? Because sometimes it doesn't save here. So make sure it saves. There you go, test. Because it wasn't saving here. Uh, I was switching quickly, so now that it's saved, it gets the newest one. So that's watching new rows, adding rows. Let's try to delete a row. Let's see. Um, delete a specific row. Let's see. <clears throat> so as you see, I, I need to specify row number for the delete to work. And then row number we can get from what? So I could say whatever new row deleted. I don't know why would I say something like that, but let's see. So let, row number is seven, okay? So if I run this, now there's nothing new added, right? I could add a new one, deleted 
row. Then go ahead and run this. So there you go. It just deleted whatever I added. Okay. So that's a way uh, to delete row. It just needs a row number uh, for it to work. All right. So we we learn how to add a new row. We learn how to search for a row uh, using different filters, right? We learn how to watch a new row. So, so watch for new rows whenever a new row is added. And make sure that it saves before you search for that. We learned we learned how to delete a row. So these are all great in terms of uh, using Google Sheet. Uh, in automation and Google Sheet is free as I mentioned so you can always uh, add as many rows it's not limited to like Airtable is so you can add a lot of rows you can search for search them you can do a lot of things with Google Sheets inside of make I hope this was beneficial to you guys um, if you have any questions please uh, ask them in, in the comments. I'm, uh, I'm open to answering whatever you guys have. Uh, and uh, I will also include some links in the description below so you, can, uh, so you can use that will benefit you guys. Make sure to check out the description box below. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.